Good day, tech enthusiasts and coding comrades. It's your favorite tech-savvy professor, Big Papa Code, and today we're diving into a topic that's as crucial as your morning coffee or those indispensable cheat sheets during exams. Let's navigate the mesmerizing realm of availability, high availability, and their trusty companions. Sit tight as we draw parallels between your daily life and these intriguing software system terminologies. So let's start deciphering availability. When we refer to availability, we're not just talking about physical presence. It also encompasses factors like emotional support, being ready to listen, and offering a helping hand when needed. It's about having someone who genuinely cares and is there for you in both good times and bad. Imagine your trusted BFF, always available for late night pizza or those urgent assignment help sessions. That friend represents availability in our software realm. In technical terms, it's all about how consistently and reliably our software systems are up, running, and awaiting our beck and call. Think about how much it could hurt you if your website was always down, or Netflix just turned off for 15 minutes every night. Now let's take it a step further with high availability. Picture a friend who's not only there for you, but always punctual, perhaps even bringing along your favorite soda. That's high availability. It's like regular availability, but on an even higher level. With software, it means our systems are not just available, but they're on their A game, boasting a superior uptime percentage. Now nines are a bit different. Remember your academic grades and A plus for acing a test and maybe a B if you binged on Netflix the night before the exam? In the software cosmos, nines are those grades evaluating our system's reliability. So if someone says their system has three nines, they're proudly flashing a 99.9% .9 uptime badge. Five nines would be 99.999% uptime and so on. And oh boy, the more nines you add, the better it gets. Now let's talk about redundancy. We've all been there. Plans with one friend fall through, but another friend swoops in saving the day. That lifesaver, that's what redundancy is in tech land. It's our insurance, our backup strategy. If one component crashes, no worries. There's another one warmed up and ready to jump in. Now let's talk about SLAs. Do you have that friend with whom you've specific movie night plans, including who brings the popcorn? That's an informal contract. In the tech realm, the service level agreement, SLA, is that binding contract stipulating the promised uptime and what you get if things go south. It's essentially a pinky promise, but for tech giants. Finally, consider setting a New Year's resolution with your buddy. Maybe hit the gym together 90% of the weekdays, or hang out every Saturday, or a promise with your significant other for weekly date nights on Sunday. That's setting an objective, akin to service level objective, SLO, in our software terrain. It's the golden standard, a target uptime, guiding teams to consistently up their performance game. To recap, availability, that ever-present friend, high availability, that friend but with extra enthusiasm and punctuality, nines, your software's report card, redundancy, always having a backup plan or friend, SLA, that unbreakable pact with set expectations, slow, the aspiration, the gold standard, so, dear tech aficionados, that's a wrap on today's enlightening session with Big Papa Code. Whether it's friendships or systems, reliability and preparation are key. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your fellow technology enthusiasts. Until next time, my friends, keep those brackets in line and may your code be ever bug-free. Peace.